Hello, guys. Go let your friends know. Tell some friends. Come visit. Today. Woo. Damn, Maya. Mayo is just like, he's just not really a human being. He's like, he just bleeds this, these rhythms. Like he doesn't need to think about it. He doesn't need to practice it. He just sits down on the drums and does this for as long as you let him. He'll do it. We were walking through a... Um, like shopping mall in America somewhere and he'd grab things and just be tapping on like the the furniture tapping on the merchandise we were in we were walking out of the mall and he was like started to like do it on like the he he couldn't help but touch like the crystal and the glass and the china run his finger over it and make a noise and we were like yo aren't you like, how do you get around in life without, like, breaking shit all the time? Just tapping on everything. I feel like he's going to knock shit down. Just always making stuff. I've got crazy um, uh, allergies today, so pardon my sniffling and all that. Um, but, yeah. We're going to have some fun over this. It's just... So, basically, what happened was Mayo, when he was in L.A. at one point... Uh, we recorded him over, uh, let's see, it was a 102 beat per minute, like, click, so it stays on the grid, but we just, over, the only thing that was going on really is we would, sometimes I'd play a few, like, loops and stuff, and he'd just play along. This was originally written over a loop. I got rid of the loop for today. Um, it was very, like, dark, kind of jazzy, actually, and, um, just left the drums. So this is just Dan freestyling for four minutes or something crazy, five, without a single skip in the beat, a single like screw up. He just went. Um, and yeah, so I figured I'd just write over that, like not even really, not even change it, probably. I don't know. We'll see. Grabbed a couple sounds, not that many sounds today, just a couple. I might go dig for a couple more. If if uh if you need it but um yeah right in the window so it's in multi-sample mode which means it's got more than one sample they sample the layers of this this keyboard and these uh soviet sense since from mars this pack was like made from like these weird i guess like 70s and 80s um actual keyboards and they, they're, they're like discontinued and like hard to find, and they're all like, like basically sampler and uh, keyboards and synths from like old Eastern European or Russian uh, synths. And they were saying like a lot of them are like, you know, since they didn't keep making them and they went out of production, they are like the upkeep. Uh, a lot of them are broken, basically. So they found good ones, sampled those, and made a sample pack. Um, so this one is a string combo, sounding very Blade Runner-y. Kind of cool. Found this pad. Let's see here. Oh, this is quiet. Let's make this shit louder. Here. I think I need to make it a lot louder. It's very quiet. It's kind of. I'm gonna affect that one. That one doesn't isn't quite the best it could be. These are not Soviet synths. This is just the electric piano I found. 
then there's some subs. So we're going to start with a string thing. I kind of want to go since Dan's thing is so, like, avant-garde. It's not that crazy. His thing is not that great. He can be way crazier than this. Um, but I thought something, like, I think not going, f like, um, f four counts per measure might be good. What is our... Something like that. Let me just see if I... I think in that like speed is kind of cool with this. Uh, let me just get my quantized settings changed here. So this is like a three. But if I go from there, I'm just gonna loop this beginning just to kind of get a get a feel. Stuff with the macros on this. this up an octave. Just curious. Is there a quick key for jumping things up an octave in Ableton? I can just grab it and drag it up. Shift and up. Thank you for the help. I don't know about that. I 
I'm gonna turn it down and just make it kind of background. All right. Oh, we're tuned differently, I see. Let's change that. All right, so this thing to me feels, this instrument was the one I said I wanted to like. I didn't like the texture of it. It's too bright. Other one is taking up a lot of that bright, magical space. Um, so this halftime plugin is interesting sometimes because it adds like a, it basically um, drops you an octave and, and it does it, it cuts the dropped octaves by like on the loop or on the on the grid so by doing it processing making like having the the plugin process it it takes all the information the like sonic information and it it like degrades it basically <laughs> And it makes it, it makes it sound, I, I think it sounds dirtier, it mangles it a little bit. Um, Drums are like changing on a different thing, which is kind of cool, but kind of wonder if I should get back on the, on the top here. Oh, I see he's, he's in. I 
another idea about how to approach this. Once we get a little groove here, it's gonna happen. I just gotta figure out my approach. you're hearing there that that cutting those short that's the hold pedal which is my foot pedal oh it's got like a that's weird That's better. What if I put this here? Oh, whole different key. All right, we'll save this for later then. Because I like this Rhodes thing that just happened. Uh, which delay we want? Echo Boy? Valhalla? Let's do the Valhalla. It's so simple, just two nice little things. Woo. Oh, that's nasty, I love that. Let's turn Dan up. Oh. That's why. 
Let me just get these in the same key. <laughs> so this one is here. Okay. There we go. Is the sub on a different note as well? Okay, good. All right, good. So we're gonna change keys on the roads. A lot higher. I'll drop it down. Okay. See how that feels. Downbeat. <laughs> a different downbeat than we were before. I feel like the downbeat's here. On that hi hat.
So there's a human element coming in. You can hear him like go like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Go back this far, early part. <laughs> it's 
little his little fuck up is kind of awesome. I love that. Let's go to the next phrase and see what happens here. Oh, can you hear me in the background talking to him? Right here is where I talk to oh. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can bring in that other... This thing that I made earlier. I don't know if it works, but... No. All right. So since this is like really, his playing wants to go to the eight, to the to the four count measure. Let's do something on this.
wild. He's tripping the fuck out right now. You guys are. All right, we're going to go back to the toppy top. The top top. Just get a bird's eye view. The tippy? fuck out right now. I feel like this song is promoting drug use and I don't know how I feel about that. a little like loop like a little a little arpeggio oh wait this guy this guy should just show up Then you'll be able to hear all the like stuff going on in the in, between me and Dan in the room. I was literally in the room with him. He's playing, and I'm like holding up tambourines and bells and stuff in front of him. To hit.
I'm shooting a message to Mayo just to see what he's up to. Let's see what's up. Um, okay. I want to put some more sounds. The one that I pulled here was okay, but I want to um, I want to see if I can get a get some other cool shit. Um What did I have? Oh wait, this that's why this is looping on a weird thing. This needs to go one extra. Mayo says That sounds like an old, like, Casio keyboard. That's not the one. <laughs> so this is one of those ones that we can put it in loop mode and um, get, like, a get get a proper loop out of it so if i zoom in here let me show you on the screen let me pull this up like this um so you can see how if i let me see if i can zoom can i zoom here so if i get it if i start it right where the um it like contacts the the middle the the median line there that's the start of my loop and then the end of my loop and do the same, find that same spot. Cause this actually, this sound seems to be pretty re rep repetitive, right? It looks like it repeats right on the, um, on the, like the same shape goes over and over. So now I've got it in loop mode. And I think if I, yeah. So now I can just hold the button down and it'll just loop that section over and over. You could also do something weird where like if you wanted to, you can bring the end of it super close. And it gets a little like vibration. And that's like an intentional. <laughs> it's a little loud, is that what you're saying? Is it too loud? Is it too loud? <laughs> Wait, is it distorting? Yes. Okay, hold up. Let me let me fix that. I think you're just coming in too hot on the uh yeah. There. Better? <laughs> Sorry about that. It's fine in my ears, you guys. Shit. Hold on. So.
What if we go back to our other thing? What was the other thing? It's this guy. So I think we recorded this on, like recorded it to tape, and I think the tape got a little, a little funny right there. Which is dope. Something was a little grimy about the. Idea. 
bit about
This shit got crazy. All right, uh, we'll bring it back. How far back? All the way to the top? Here it goes top. we add next guitar always guitar you guys are always like
like it should stop somewhere in there. It went a little long. <laughs> um, I think Dan tried to FaceTime me in the middle of all that. Mayo! Everybody welcome Dan Mayo to the chat. What's up, Dan? Uh-oh, can I not hear you? Oh. There you are. Hi. Yeah, what? What's up? Hang on. I'm going to, I don't have this like connected. I don't have it connected to the, um, to the screen. Uh-oh. He left the chat. Dan Mayo has left the chat. Dan, can you hear me? <laughs> Do I have a bad connection? Um, hold on. If it's poor connection, it's always me. <laughs> Come on. I I have like I well because I'm like doing the stream and like um and doing this on top of it and I have a house full of people who are all on the screen so yeah I want to I want to be able to put it on the screen on actual like so they can see it but okay. the, but the problem is if I do that and it disconnects then it shows all my recent oh. calls and then everybody's phone numbers oh, wow. and then everybody's phone okay. numbers on Twitch so that's not a good idea <laughs> that's, that's a bad idea yeah I think I'm going to try it with Zoom eventually. How are you? What's going on? What's going on with you? What are you doing? I'm just in the balcony talking with you. It's 9 p.m. right now. So <laughs> Are you and you're in Tel Aviv? Yeah. Nice. I used so with this thing, I don't think you saw it. I don't think you were on um what, since yeah, I'm I just wa watching it. So I used one of the one of the um the drum things that we recorded here in LA. Cause I was like messing around with the other one and I need, I need to like, Dan sent me more than one thing. Um, I needed that. This one was on a, already on a, on like a grid, like you played it to the click. So, um, the new one, the new one isn't right. It's just free form. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So the new one, I might try it with like no grid or whatever. Um, but this one I wanted to do stuff on the grid. And I noticed it looked like a, a very cool area of, of me playing. It wasn't like just a regular beat. It was just yeah. freestyle. No, I uh, used the freestyle like sections. Yeah, it was amazing. Cool. Nice. I was just watching it. It sounds amazing. I was, I was calling uh, when, you were, when you were playing guitar. So I'm sorry about that. But, uh, no, no, no. It's all good. What's <laughs> the, what, are you, what are you doing? What should we tell fans? Like, what are you up to? Because I know you released like a thousand albums this year. Yeah, that's right. Nine albums. Yeah. So Dan released Dan because he is able to like just go in and just record amazing stuff first take. He did that and then built nine albums of stuff. Where can they find the, the stuff that they want to go listen to it? Is it on uh, streaming services or do they have to go on yeah. like... Yeah, it's everywhere. You can find it on Spotify and everywhere basically. Mm -hmm. And I, I've just released uh, uh, a new EP also that I wrote in like in these two months of like coronavirus. So nice, and that's on yeah. and that's on like Spotify and Apple Music and all that. Exactly. Yeah. Under your name or something else. Uh, the nine albums, it's uh, they're under half of them under my name and half of them under Tatran, my band. Yeah. And, and uh, the EP is under my name. Uh, it's called. Not a talker. Not a talker. Not a talker. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so you guys go check those out. Go listen to that. Dan's like, you know, very prolific. Um, <laughs> it's good to talk to you, man. Yeah, how are you, man? I'm good. I'm good. Doing these the streams every day are a lot of fun. And, um, you know, it's in the afternoon. I'm doing, doing some different, like, different music, different projects, and, like, helping my kids with school stuff. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, no, all good. Are you guys on? Oh, in, in, it's in, like a new studio. The studio looks amazing. I, I would love to have you here if you ever come to LA to record you. Be a dream, of course. <laughs> what, what, are, what are the, um, 
are they doing like like lockdowns and quarantine and stuff in Israel or what are the rules in Israel? Are you guys having much problem with like coronavirus and COVID-19, whatever, all that stuff? Yeah, two, two weeks ago it was bad. Like we had lock, complete lockdown. Yeah. And now everything is, is actually pretty cool. I just went to the beach yesterday and everything was chill. And it seems like everything is getting back to normal uh, every day. What are the rule? Are there any rules in terms of like what people are allowed to do on the beach in 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 Tel Aviv? Yeah, you should like uh, 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 like stay away for like at least six meters uh, from other people uh, other people on the beach. Like yeah. You should, like, just and you should uh, be not more than I think uh, seven people. Not more, a group? Not, oh, in your group? Yeah, yeah, nice. exactly. The group shouldn't be more than seven people. Do and you know? Do you know anybody who caught the virus? No. Nobody. I don't. I I know people. I have lots of people who who know someone else. Like it's like one degree of separation, but I don't. None of my immediate friends or family have got it or got it. Yeah, you know what I mean? The same. The same with me. Yeah. Exactly. But there's a couple, I mean, some of the stories of the people that are friends of my friends, are, some of them are bad. Like one person is a doctor and they were working in the hospitals and then they got it. And then they're like, they had a blood clot and lost and they're blind in one eye, like bad, really weird, bad stuff. But the people, everybody else, and then other people have like no symptoms at all or minimal symptoms and then they get over it. Yeah. So it's so weird. That's what I, yeah, it's it's very weird. Everything everything is so confusing because yeah. you know you hear sometimes it's like regular flu, and sometimes you hear like it's it's so bad that you shouldn't leave the house. Yeah. So, well, I don't know. I mean, I think everyone is basically confused by now. So yeah, it's the same here. <laughs> it's the same here. I mean, basically everybody's like it's because there's such a. A, a variety in the outcome of what it can look like and what it can, how you can, you know, it could be like nothing or you could be dead. Like it's a very wide uh, <laughs> spectrum of like outcomes uh, if you do get, and then, and then like, you know, the infection rates are around like between like zero and what is it? 5%. Right. So it's like, that's like, it's, that's manageable, but not if, not if people are like really going to the hospital. Um, well, cool, man. Are you, what do you have coming up in the next, in the next few weeks that I could check out or somebody else can check out? Um, do you have more of those drum sessions or are you just posting stuff on Instagram? Yeah, I'm just posting stuff on, on, on Instagram and just playing drums and, yeah. you know, posting just beats and stuff. Yeah. Uh, for, for now, I'm just like, uh, writing a lot of music and, and just, I don't know what's the future it's going to be like. So right. I'm just <laughs> confused. Well, let's do, let's do, this is a good, good first, uh, first attempt. Let's do some more. I want to try swap some files with you and do some more stuff like this. Oh, yeah, for sure. So if you get some cool stuff that you really like, um, on, you know, in your sessions, like send them to me, send me something. Definitely. I'll share it with our folder. Our Dropbox, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Folder. yeah. Yeah. Cool. Sure. Awesome. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Say hi to the, the family and everybody. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye, Dan. So that, Dad's, that's Mayo, M-A-Y-O. Uh, on Instagram, he's Mayo Drummer. Um, and Dan is Dan's the best, man. So talented, too. He's just, he's the dude. I'm going to chop this outro down a little bit. Just make it a little, I want it to end a little sooner. Let's see here. How does it end to end? Okay, so maybe two go rounds of that and then we're done. Let's see what happens. There we go. That's much better. So my weird last note here. I did like a minor note and it didn't work. So let's do that.
All right, um, I'm gonna fade that there. I gotta cross fade it over here. Let's do, let's make it a little, oops. Bring this over like this and cross fade it like that. <laughs> Okay, so this is the uh, echo guitar. So on that guitar, I'm using, um, just for those that are curious to play guitar, engineer stuff, I'm using, um, let's see, that's a Strat through a Big Sky uh, pedal, which is made by Strymon, and then a full-tone Octafuzz, and then into basically like a clean channel on the um, Fractal. Um, I feel like that, that a whole vibe felt, that felt cool. I'm going to go from the top on this and see what other instruments we need.
actually got a couple good parts. I wanted to bring this in a little later. Maybe I'll move this whole thing over a little bit to this. <laughs> move here. in the background.
the filter. get in the way of the guitar because the guitar is filling a similar frequency even though it's just building a little bit maybe at the end we'll bring up the frequency uh, not there Says, oh. Another track. Another track.
Welcome back. All right, guys, we went on a journey today, and now we're back. You feel good? It's nice, right? I'm gonna, um, why don't I just take all this stuff, grab all these, put them in a group. What kind of compressor? I'm gonna put a little compression on and turn it down. Um, I think I'm going to use this one. This the, this the glue. Give it a little glue. I'm going to turn it down too. We can have a chat. Have a little chat. And we'll loop it up. We feel good? All right. This is a very chill start of your week. I hope you had a nice, chill experience today. 